right, guys, this one's going to be a little short because, well, I'm in between videos myself. So I'm just going to try to get you guys the news because I'm currently working on a video for my third channel as well for a total of like six videos today. It's kind of nuts. But for those of you guys that watch my video on Miles Turner and Kevin Love and the like other 15 trade rumors we covered yesterday, this is the second player that we said yesterday was going to be traded and he ended up being traded. The first one being Trevor Ariza that was traded from the OKC Thunder to the Miami Heat for Myers. Leonard earlier today. We have a video on that as well. And the second one is going to be on PJ Tucker. So for those of you guys that don't know, PJ Tucker and the Houston Rockets haven't been on the best of terms recently. At first, it was because he felt like his position felt very undervalued when 3 and D players are at a premium currently in the NBA. But then on top of that, he felt like he wasn't getting the proper respect in Houston. And by the time they gave him a potential contract extension, it was a little bit too late for him. He was giving interviews where he seemed frustrated and he no longer wanted to be on the team and now that the Rockets are entering a rebuild and they're essentially selling every single player that they have including Victor Oladipo aside from maybe like Christian Wood now it makes sense to do whatever it takes to trade PJ Tucker to a contending team especially when his skill set is at a premium and guess what they officially did that because according to Adrian Wojnarowski the Houston Rockets are trading PJ Tucker, Rodians Kurucs, and a 2022 first round pick that they originally got from Milwaukee, which is heading back to Milwaukee for DJ Augustine, DJ Wilson, and a 2023 unprotected first round pick. Houston also gets the right to swap its 2021 second round pick for Milwaukee's first round pick, unless if it falls from the one to nine position. But that's not it because Milwaukee also is trading forward Tory Craig to Phoenix which appears to be involved in this deal as well. And essentially, Milwaukee is going to be moving back a few spots in the 2021 NBA draft to use an early second round Rockets pick. And Houston has been able to push back the 2022 first round pick they previously owned to the 2023 NBA draft. Now, I love this move for the Houston Rockets because at this point, if you're able to get a unprotected first round pick for any of your players, especially when you're not contending, then that alone is a W, especially for a player that you probably weren't going to retain this year. Meanwhile, the Milwaukee Bucks get some much needed defensive help. They have a player that could space the floor, which is at a huge premium in the NBA, a player that could lock down most opposing team's best player in PJ Tucker. And now it seems like Giannis actually is getting a good supporting cast built around him in the form of Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, PJ Tucker, Dante DiVincenzo, and Brooke Lopez. I'm going to be honest, I was a little skeptical at first, but I have been proven 100% wrong. The Milwaukee Bucks are definitely doing a wonderful job being very scrappy in trying to assemble a good contending team around Giannis and Lord knows they're going to need it, especially if they have to go through the likes of the Philadelphia 76ers and the Brooklyn Nets. So I'm going to give both sides of this trade an A plus because the Milwaukee Bucks get something they really need. And at the same time, the Houston Rockets get something that they really need to assist them in their rebuild. Now, I'd like to see how they're going to fill out that backup point guard position or if they believe that Dante DiVincenzo is their future move moving forward. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this trade. And if you want to see any other potential trades, I highly recommend you check out our video yesterday in the end screen because we've hit on two of those picks so far. Oh, and on top of that, if you guys want to check out our podcast, I'm going to leave it in the description down below. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload. <laughs>